Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for the Cuckoo's Fiancé, or a couple of Cuckoo's, if you're here from the anime. Um, chapter 108. Uh, when we last left our heroes, um, the M1 happened, and it didn't go so well for Nagi and Erika. We saw a little bit of, like, the other events, you know, some random background characters. Sachi and I did this really on-the-nose musical number, and no one was comfortable with that. Uh, we got to Hero and Shion's event, and they decided to just withdraw... Uh, so that Nagi and Erika could deliver the ultimate bomb. And we saw that, and, uh, well, they certainly bombed. Um, to be fair, their argument, their, their, their concept makes sense from where they're standing. You know, just dropping the story of their life. It's so wild, so weird, especially because they're such disparate people that had anyone believed it, it might have worked out. Unfortunately, it was so wild, so weird, that no one believed it. No one believed they were actually switched at birth. And so they're sort of, of up a creek without a paddle right now. Because um, no one's going to believe them, and time is quickly running out. So let's dive right on in. We have our scan later page here. 108th foul. Sorry we didn't win. Which, uh, you know, <laughs> not much what they want to see, I reckon. Um... But we open where we left off with Nagi and Erika just awkwardly standing on stage. Their their act is not working. Uh, and I always forget their two names. Uh, I think this is Yonezawa uh, of the, the, the Icarus gang, whatever they were called. Uh, yeah, Yonezawa. Takahashi is the other one. Uh, so yeah, Yonezawa then says, uh, Only one minute left on the clock before the three-minute time limit is up. And Erika turns to Nagi desperately. Nagi-kun, what do we do? And Nagi tells her, I'm thinking. And then Erika gets an idea. I got it. How about cosplay or something? And Nagi just shuts her off. Do you have a costume? Then let's do head-to-head -head impressions. Of who? How about we just do it over again? We don't have time for that. Uh, and the crowd is just like murmuring at this point. They're like, what the fuck is going on? What is this act? Uh, and Erika is then desperate. Then what are we supposed to do? And Nagi also like sweating, just like desperate for an answer. I told you, I'm thinking. And someone calls from the audience, lies, lies, all lies, let me through. Um, I don't know who this is, who this could be. Not, Eric is just, for real? This guy's here. There's no way that you could have been switched at birth. Oh, it's the fucker from like the first chapter. The like Erica fan club who went to school. Like, thank you to the anime for reminding me of this guy's existence. Um... But the guy who who went next, like went to school right next to Erica's old school, and was obsessed with her. Uh, I'm disappointed in you, Erica Tan. I thought you were a pure, prim and proper lady, were you not? Uh, and the the crowd whispers, "Who's that? Is he from, is he from another school? Is he going to beat someone up?" And the crowd, someone in the crowd, just does not believe Nagi and Erica and wants some violence. I guess get him, get him. Uh, and the man goes on, "Did you want to win so badly that you would go so far as to lie?" Who knew you were such a selfish brat? And Eric is just so confused. Huh? How dare you do such a thing? Your innocent smile on Insta. Your airy lady like your airy lady like aura and refinement. Don't tell me they were all just lies. Well, Erica being described as refined very well might be a lie, but that does not make this a lie. Uh, and he just goes on, "You liar!" And Erica tries to defend herself. That's that's not. And the crowd is all murmuring. They seem to kind of be on his side, but maybe not in favor of his forcefulness. But Erika can only mutter out, um, that's... And Nagi steps in front of her. Enough. And this whole, like, the, the shot here, like, the light, you know, like, framing Nagi like some hero in Erika's eyes. Uh, and Nagi just tells him, take that back. Amino-san is no liar. Nagi-kun! And the man goes on, Shut it, you! Shut up! You take it back! Switched at birth, my ass! It's all your fault that Erika Tons ended up like this! And he's, uh... Despite the fact that the series opened with Nagi kicking this guy's ass, he's rearing for another fight. You know what? This is perfect! I'll show you who's boss out here in front of everyone! And show them the truth behind it all! And he goes, like, throw a punch. And Nagi just decks him! Like he did way back when. Sends them flying. Eric is just... He punched him. And the man rubs his cheek. Who? Who the hell are you? 
What are you to Eric a ton? Oh, he's right about to reveal. I, I mentioned last time that maybe Nagi was going to, like, drop this fiancé thing and shake everything up. And it looks like I was kind of right. Though it's not so much an intentional, like, dramatic choice. Uh, or, like, an intentional choice to win as much as it is it just comes out in the moment. Because Nagi says, me? I'm just Amino-san's fiancé. And that, it's not full page, like, not like a full page panel money shot right there. But, like, that's, that's a damn good panel. Like, the, the fury in his eyes, the, like, straightening of the tie. It's just a good fucking look right there. And Eric is taken aback. Nagi-kun got mad. Um, but also, he announced that to the entire fucking school. Uh, we see Sachi and I, Nagi, Nagi-cha, uh, we cut to, to Hiro, Umino-kun. And the Uminos are just cheering. Yeah, Nagi! Uh, and the man goes on, or I should say the boy. He's like, he's like 16, I bet. Fiance, don't mess with me. Don't think you're getting away with this. And Nagi, just like stone cold stare, tells him, take it back. Amino san is no liar. Say it. And I will say, I don't know when uh, Yoshikawa planned this whole, this whole thing out. But given recent acts of violence at an award show, this is a little, it's a little prescient. I'll say that much. It's a little, it's a little on the nose. I don't, I'm not sure that was like a plan. I'm not sure that's an intentional reference. More so than this was like planned at the start of this arc like two months ago. But either way, Yonezawa goes on. They're, they've already, that yeah, they've already well passed their allotted time. And Takahashi, this is bad. Somebody stop them. Uh, and like, pure mayhem. People, like, rush the stage to pull Nagi and this guy out. It's an all-out brawl. Get him. Get him. Somebody please stop them. Holy crap, man. Umino Strunk. Do people... Has Strunk ever been an actual uh, slang term? I never actually heard that used anything close to to unironically. Um, <laughs> anyway, hey, boys. Hurry up and stop Umino-kun. Someone get a teacher. Um, the Icarus gang is just, um, please keep it down. Quiet, please. Time for a break. The M1 will be temporarily suspended. Just like, it seems like the, the mayhem on stage is so ridiculous to everyone. They haven't even, like, processed what Nagi said about the fiancé bit. Um, but we see Ritsuko watching this, like, sly smile. Uh, maybe, maybe they do have some entertainment chops after all. Just in pure, pure instinct. But so Ichiro is, like, bored or something? Because so Ichiro turns to Ritsuko, let's head back. Because Sumichiro was just fucking weird. Fuck this man. Um. Okay. Bullet and because like the next day, I guess. Bulletin board. To all students, due to the interference of a student from an outside school, this year's M1 has been ruled no contest. Additionally, the subject below has been su subjected to a four-day suspension. To a Umino Nagi. Yeah. Um, we can argue whether or not, uh, Nagi, like, Nagi definitely was acting in either self-defense or defense for Erika. That man, that guy was, like, ready to throw a punch. It's hard to fault Nagi for hitting back. But also from a school standpoint, you can't just let a guy throw a punch on stage without doing anything like that. But yeah, Nagi's facing consequences. Um, you get a close-up of two specific sentences. This year's M1 has been ruled no contest. And 2A, Umino Nagi. Uh, and Eric looks on, uh, like, the back of a crowd. For real? He suspended Umino. Oh, well, yeah, after what he did. And Eric sort of looks on, like, shock, shock or something in her eyes, uh, and just walks away and heads back to the house. Uh, Nagi, he's a little beat up. from like He's got, like, a bandage on. Uh, but he's just lying in bed. Two bandages on and some, like, blood and dirt on his face. As he's flashing back to what, he's, what he'd been saying to Erika throughout this whole incident. We'll win this for sure. And fire. And that moment from, from earlier in this chapter. I'm just Amino-san's fiancé. And he's just like, as he flashes back to him seeming so cool. He's just like, he's hit by a pure burst of, of embarrassment. What the hell was I even doing? That was so embarrassing. And he gets up, and in the end, we didn't even win the M1. And I got suspended. And he flashes back again to that same panel from, from the previous page. We'll win this for sure. Stop the flashbacks already. He's like banging on the bed. Stop it, please. Uh, and Erica walks in as he's having this like fit. 
what are you doing? And Nagi just looks even more embarrassed there. Creepy. Amino-san! Uh, and Amino is, like, holding a tray of, like, soup or something. I brought you food. You haven't eaten anything all day, have you? And Nagi looks at it. Um, uh, wait, did you make that? I just warmed some stuff in a pot, so it won't ruin you or anything, I think. Calling back to her being a terrible cook. Uh, it'd be pretty bad if you ended up even worse shape than this. Uh, but we look at it. Nagi notes, this is supposed to be porridge, right? What did you put in there? And there's, like, stuff. Like, like it looks like a, dumplings are in there, and that might be shrimp in there. It, it's not porridge. It doesn't look like porridge. Frozen fried rice and stuff. And Nagi just protests, and stuff! And Erica tells him, you'll be fine. Just eat. Yeah, all right. And he raises a, the spoon up to his mouth, and he pauses. And before he eats, he apologizes. Sorry. Huh? And he puts the food down. Uh, doesn't even eat. Just lies back on his bed. Grabs his pillow. I was so lame. I'm at a loss for words. Sorry we didn't win. Uh, and Erica sort of takes that apology. Sort of nods. Oh. You mean the M1? I totally thought that you meant the f that the food looked so bad you couldn't eat it. Uh, and which is a, a, sort of a weird thing. Like... It's an, it's an interesting bit of, like, br like dodging the point Erica's doing. Sort of dodging his his sincerity. Like, it's almost too much for, him, for her to handle right now. Uh, but er Nagi tells her, no. And Erica says, thanks. It made me so happy you were there for me. At least, the way I see it, you were cool. And then we have another... It seems like kind of a mirror panel to the, the I'm Amino-san's fia fiancé from earlier... It covers, like, an equal amount of the page. It's the same sort of focus on, on um, like, just the sing singular character. You know, I really don't think Yoshikawa gets enough credit for, like, how well she, you know, has, like, I guess, a, a control over the medium in which she tells her story. And as the anime goes on, I'm hoping the anime can somehow find a way to, like, keep up some of the cool paneling tricks Yoshikawa does in animation. Uh, that's, a, that's a discussion for another day. Um, but at that, Nagi sort of turns away from her sincerity. Well, even then. And Erika, like, puts her hand down by his head. Jeez. And she kisses him. There's our real money shot. Um. And, like, it's... It... I can't... I'm trying to tell... Like, it looks like it's on the lips. Especially in that second panel after the money shot. Where, like, the way both their lips are framed, it seemed like there's a separation. But, like, it's possible, like, the, on the money shot itself, it looks like it might be his cheek. But it doesn't to be a full kiss. Uh, and Erika asks, that cheer you up? And Nagi has a very interesting response here. Because he doesn't act shocked. There's none of the, like, maybe he's just so tired he doesn't, like meet with the, like, embarrassment that he normally would. But he also... It's the same sort of... of not meeting her gaze embarrassment deflection we saw earlier. As he just responds, Yeah, I guess. And Erica, like, runs out of the room real fast. Oh, right! Um... Oh, and there it is! It was a bit of a delayed response. Uh... That, oh, right, I guess didn't really mean anything. It was, like, an excuse for her to leave the room real fast. Because Erica pauses at his door... And just breaks. Just like a blushing mess there. And we cut back to Nagi. Um, what was that? First kiss? Next time someone else knows about this moment? Okay. Um, <laughs> there's a lot here. Uh, you know, as, as our resident Nagi Airy shipper, I fucking love this chapter. You know... I, I've been of the opinion over the, over the course of the M1 arc that it was just nice to be reading the series again and not actively disliking it. You know, I, I hated so much of, like, Horny Hotel was a mess. All of the Sachi drama of the end of the stay with Hero was a mess. It was nice to just, like, read the manga and be fairly confident you would not get Nagi Sachi bullshit. Um... But, like, it, it hadn't had any standout moments in a while. You know, nothing in the in the past eight or so chapters was like felt huge and just really, really strong. This is the first this is like 
this is that moment. This is the moment where, like, it's just huge and really fucking good. This is, like, a standout chapter. Um, you know, it feels like this might lead into an arc that does for Erika, but, like, the elopement arc did for Hero. Uh, and I'm all here for it. Like, this is just a standout fucking chapter right here. You know, from the callback way back to the first chapter, and that, like, the fact that it's this guy again, I don't want to want to assume too much, because I feel like I kind of already have assumed quite a bit, um, talking about the, the violence uh, already this video, but that does kind of feel like a, you know, no one would have remembered this guy had the anime not started, like, three days ago. You know, he's here, I, I think Yoshikawa timed this up, so that, like, he would be here right after the anime dropped. Uh, just so like we remember who he is. Which is some nice, some nice, like, synergy there. Um, but, like, there's just so much good shit here. Uh, from, like, like, Nagi's whole, whole scene on stage is so top tier. The whole, take that back, ominous is no liar. Like, just, but the panel before that, the way he's framed, like, the light passing through, passing around him. He's, like, framing this, like, angelic light to Erika as he, like, steps in to, to defend her. Uh, the, the punch, the declaration of their engagement to the entire school. Even if I don't think either of them have quite comprehended that, I'm not sure, even at this point, anyone is, like, going back to that scene with, at the bulletin board, I'm not sure anyone is really, like, like, everything was so big there, I'm not sure anyone quite comprehended what he said. Uh, which would be a bit of a shame if, like, no one remembers. I'm hoping, like, next time they see the school, they'll, like, see Nagi come back and they'll all think back to the to the event and then be like, wait a second, he said he was engaged to Erika? Because <laughs> I, I don't want that to be, like, brushed aside. That's a big thing he declared, and I want there to be consequences. Because, um, like, <laughs> that's a huge thing. But also, just Nagi's really cool there. Erika's right. That was a cool thing he did. Uh, standing up for her like that. Uh, but then we have that bedroom scene. And, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's a weird enough setup that, like, maybe they'll both try their hardest to ignore it for a while. Uh, but that little blurb, next time someone else knows about this moment, it won't stay secret for long. Um, <laughs> and, you know, we'll see how all this comes around. Um, next time. All in all, this was just a damn good chapter. And I, I can't wait to see where everything goes from here. Because this is, this is one of those, you know, there's going to be a change chapters, in my opinion. So with that said, I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe. Or, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And as always, your life is your own, okay? Bye!